I wanted to tell you guys about the coolest, coolest sensor that I've come across. This is made by YoLink, and these are two different varieties of their leak sensors. They've got even more varieties than this, but this one has a cable that you plug in that has kind of a fabric coating over the outside of it, and whenever that cable comes into contact with water, it's going to set off an alarm, which I'll show you here in just a little bit. I've got the uh, QR code covered up, but basically you scan the QR code and it's super easy to set up. You can see, in fact, uh, this particular sensor has an, an alarm on the bottom. And so when water, this little section right here, was wet, it detected that there was a leak. It alerts your phone, sends you a text message, sends you an email. So you're not going to miss it. Um, it's going to beep until you unplug the probe, and then it's going to send an alarm when the probe is unplugged, just for safety's sake. But I really like um, this product. They have made the cord to where it lays flat very easily. Basically just run that along your baseboards or along the uh, inside of your cabinets. And that way if there's a water leak inside there, you're going to know about it very, very quickly. Very well built, it appears. Um, that particular sensor runs about 25 bucks and you can actually get a 10-foot extension cable. Um, this one is 4 foot long that's included and then you can buy a 10-foot extension. So 14 feet of sensor or as long as you want it I suppose. There's the 10-footer. So you can wrap that around pipes, water valves, and then along the baseboards or wherever you want to put it. Um, around your toilet, around your water heater, good stuff. Uh, this is their other variety that they have, which is a little more limiting. Um, I like them. They're great, but you can see there's uh, those metal buttons right here are the sensors. So if water comes into contact with those, it's going to alert uh, alert your phone and whatnot, just the same as the other one does. Or if it drips onto the sensor, it'll touch those contacts there. Uh, that's just a wet paper towel and you can see this one does not have a, an alarm speaker on it. Um, it simply sends the alert to your phone. But the drawback to this one is this actually has to be touching the puddle of water um, so you have to know basically where the water is going to collect. You can set that inside of a pan like a water heater pan for example or just simply put it under your under your sink or wherever you want to put it. And there's a speaker hole for that one. This one does not have a speaker hole. They're roughly the same size. Um, the one on the right is a little bit cheaper, um, but it is waterproof, so it's going to be element proof where this one uh, is designed to be hung on a wall or is stuck to the back of a fridge or something along those lines. To replace the batteries on these, you pop these little rubber feet out, remove the Phillips head screws, break it apart, replace your batteries, put it back together, and they say that those should last roughly five years if you're using lithium batteries. So that's super cool. So the benefit of using these sensors is just the ease of installation. All you have to do is just set it under the sink or behind the toilet. You know, the drawback, like I mentioned, is the puddle has to grow to a certain amount that it's going to contact that sensor or if it's sitting on high ground it might not work as well. You can get around that by using a pan or something to catch the water that might drip but that has its drawbacks too because what if it drips outside the pan? So yeah I think for certain scenarios it's great. Uh, the one with the cable um, gives you a lot more options especially with the extension if you get that. Uh, you can mount the sensor anywhere you want you can take the end of the cable and wrap it around pipes, for instance. Hang your sensor on the wall and then... Yeah, just throw the cable around some pipes. Wrap it where you think the water would drip to. You know, put it around the P-trap where it's lowest. And that would work really well. So I think it covers a larger area. Maybe a little bit more of a hassle to install. One thing I wanted to mention is when you order 
any kind of sensor from Yolink, you're going to absolutely need what they call a hub. These guys boast a quarter mile range on these things. But basically you need the hub for the sensor to communicate back to home base and then of course to your phone to give you the alerts and whatnot. But yeah, quarter mile range. I that's unobstructed, no kind of interference, no walls. Um yeah, they've got all kinds of different connectors for these water sensors. Um and the range is fantastic. I'm going to show you a temperature sensor here in just a little bit. Um, my temperature sensor, for example, is in my chest freezer on my back patio, which is, say, 100 feet from my bedroom, which is on a different level, which has a stairwell and multiple walls in the way, also from inside the chest freezer with all the food piled on top of it. Um, so it's got to make it through all that interference, and the connection has been none. I mean, just no issues with connection at all. Stays full connected. Um, so that has been fantastic. Um, yeah, they've got temperature sensors with readouts. This is the one that I've got here. Um, the one with no readout, $35. And that's been really, really cool. Um, the one thing you'll find with the temperature sensors is they're not immediate um, update. Like with the leak detector, they're going to notify you right away. With the temperature sensors, they update once an hour. And that's probably due to wanting to, to be very efficient with the battery life. Um, however, if there is a major change, like one degree within a minute um, of temperature, they're going to alert you right away. So they do still have that functionality. It's just it's not live, um, real-time information. Um, these are really cool. Um, it's an automatic water shutoff valve. So you could have this, in fact, on your whole house if you wanted it. You could have right at your meter. Uh, you can put a automatic shutoff so that if, it, if there's a leak detected from any of your sensors inside, it's just going to snap that valve shut right at the meter. Or you could do it at, you know, under your sink or behind your um, washing machine or what have you. But yeah, basically, if you have a central place that you could put it to shut water off to the whole house, that would be fantastic. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, just kind of getting into this um, home automation and taking a look at Yolink. You guys got to check it out. Coolest, coolest thing. Hope you enjoyed it.